for my dissertations uh, research I'm looking into how we can expand current aerial survey methods by incorporating aerial photography so you can get more detailed information from wildlife populations using the same amount of resources. Uh, so you spend the same amount of fly, flying time and um, yeah, economic resources but you get more detailed information. So for my project, I'm now closely collaborating with the Coral Restoration Foundation on Bonaire, as well as with the Ocean Research and Conservation Group from the Zoology Department. And the Coral Restoration Foundation, they grow two species of coral in their so-called coral tree nurseries. And once these corals are grown to a big enough size in the nurseries, they plant them back to degraded parts of the reefs. And for my research project, I'm aiming to develop a new monitoring application for this foundation by creating very precise three-dimensional models of their outplanted corals. And I do this by scuba diving a lot uh, and filming the coral. And these 3D models can provide us with very precise ecological information on, for example, growth rates, whether the corals are diseased or bleached. Um, but also information on the underlying structural complexity and architecture of the reef. And such a tool may be very useful for the Coral Rest Restoration Foundation in assessing whether their restoration efforts are any successful or whether they should change their strategies. One of the themes I found really interesting through my year at BCM is the relationship between business and environmental conservation. Because of this, I chose to do my dissertation looking at the environmental impacts of outdoor recreation, in particular the ski industry. While I was looking at climate change mitigation and adaptation primarily, one of the biggest takeaways for me was how conservation isn't exclusive to profit. It's not one or the other. And the challenge instead is finding ways to speak the corporate language, collaborate, and find the win-wins so that conservation is seen as an asset rather than a cost. For my dissertation, I'm looking at the impacts of water management decisions on biodiversity in northern Mexico. To answer that question, I'm using satellite imagery to see how the extent of riparian vegetation has changed over the past few decades. In arid regions like the Chihuahuan Desert, riparian vegetation form key habitats and corridors for species living in the region. Inspired by the great Michel Foucault, I am trying to understand what is it that actually shapes the contemporary conservation subject. I'm working with communities outside the Bantipur Tiger Reserve whose local political economies have been reconfigured to suit conservation purposes. My dissertation, I am building an agent-based model of the elephant poaching system with the hope of possibly finding a cost-effective, optimal policy or management tactic to mitigate the poaching crisis. So my dissertation is about how it's possible to combine local development with conservation in nature. So I went to a project in Argentina in the Ibera wetlands and looked at how uh, a conservation organization is working there to integrate these both aspects. And just to talk a little bit about finance, I was able to get myself covered basically by using uh, different scholarships that I got from partly from the program from BCM and also from my college and I also managed to find uh, a scholarship in Sweden. For my dissertation I looked at vegetation change in the Pyrenees for which I did some great field work, um, which was essentially a treasure hunt because I um, had old photos uh, from the early 1900s and I had to relocate them and re retake them and then analyze the vegetation change through that um, by linking it to past land use history and climate change. My dissertation looked at the impacts of megafaunal extinctions and reintroductions in a general ecosystem model, specifically the Madden model. I just popped out of the world's largest lagoon in New Caledonia. I'm currently in the South Pacific writing my dissertation about the role of international NGOs and networks in shaping supersized marine reserves. New Caledonia is looking at creating the world's third largest reserve in the Coral Sea. It's giving 1.3 million square kilometers, about half the size of the Mediterranean. For my dissertation, I'm looking at developing an artificial intelligence to automatically analyze aerial imagery of Cape Buffalo um, as a case study. I'm looking at 
how this sort of state-of-the-art uh, state technology can fit into the conservation management space that exists on the ground uh, here in South Africa at the moment. Um, so I'm collaborating with a computer engineer at the Department of uh, Engineering uh, at Oxford, um, and we're working on developing this, this um, machine learning platform uh, to really to fill a knowledge gap that exists. My dissertation was on lantern camera and the seed plant in Rwanda. Um, I looked at its uh, impact on plant pollinator interactions, and I also assessed uh, institutional responses towards its invasion. My dissertation was about understanding the drivers and mechanisms behind um, agrobi agricultural biodiversity management in a Sweden community in Northeast India, applying a framework of uh, cultural models and political ecology. For my dissertation, I'm looking into the recently emerged jaguar trade in Bolivia for Chinese markets. 